I'm realizing that, you know, my dad's probably gonna cut this stuff out or maybe even fast forward it. So why am I even talking? So I'm just gonna shut up. Well, for about a month or so, I've been talking to a guy about a project car he has. A 73 Camaro, uh, split bumper, uh, pretty good shape. I just got the phone call that we need to go pick it up. We made a deal on it. We're gonna zip on out there. We're gonna load that thing up and head on back and we'll put it in line to get done. Back in Old Faithful. And I gotta tell you, you guys are gonna experience something that actually rarely happens. Uh, Tommy and I have been working together for, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight years. I don't know how long it's been. But uh, I've gone on a million trips in this truck to pick up parts, to pick up cars, to pick up all kind of thing. And you saw on the video just a minute ago that we got a 73 Camaro split bumper. I think it might be a Z28. It's got the spoiler on the back. It's going to be a pretty cool project for my son. And I need help. And now you're going to see something that has happened, honestly, about five times in six or seven years. Check this out. Dun, dun, dun. Tommy's going with me. He should feel so proud. All right, we're here getting the Camaro and Don is trying to dent it up for me. Look at that, there sets a beautiful front clip and we're gonna dent that sucker for sure. Yeah, it's gonna be a pain to get. But it's actually pretty decent. Got a little bit of rust back here on the window. But nothing that we can't fix easy enough. Let's see what kind of rear end it has. It's only a 10 volt. That will change that for a 49 inch. Not pinching, is it? Go for a little more.
damn the life of an idiot that buys cars and trades for cars and does things for cars that he probably shouldn't, but this will be a really cool project. All right, well, it's another morning of working on some awesome projects. This is my son, Luke. He's my youngest son. And the 73 Camaro is going to be his. And so I got him down here from school. We're going to put him to work today. We'll get some things taken care of on it. And we're really excited to have him here because he is just an awesome kid. So anyway, what he's going to be doing this morning, this is the subframe that we have here for the Camaro. And right now we're going to try and make it a roller real quick just so that we can obviously move it a little bit easier. Yeah, just get them to where they're loose a little bit, then jack the thing up, take the rest of the way off, pull the rims off, and leave it jacked up in the air, and uh, come get me. Odd Rod Garage merch, link in bio. I think that's about all I can do. Father? Now we're going to see if we can get those. All right, so we're gonna see if we can get the rotors to rotate so that we can make this a roller. And if not, we're gonna pull off the calipers so that it'll rotate easily. That's not happening. All right, actually we're gonna pull calipers off. All right, after six hours, we're looking for the right tools. I think we might have one here. <laughs> Is it still running? I think so. <laughs> My dad told me to talk to you guys and uh, you know, I, uh, I don't know much about cars. He asked me what I wanted to do with it. I have no clue. I'm thinking of painting it silver with black stripes in the front. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't really know what, what else to do on a car. But, you know, that's why we have the Odd Rod Garage. Am I right, guys? So, I'm glad to be here. I'm excited. I'm excited to learn from the man himself. Um, I hope I, I hope I do Tommy justice by being here. So, thank you. All right, come here, I'm gonna show you what to do. <clears throat> all right, you see this guy right here? Yeah. You're gonna throw this all the way out. There's another one right here. Okay. And two on that. And you're gonna use this as leverage. Okay. So get it in there good. Grab your leverage. And both of those you can pull out, and then we're gonna pop this okay. caliper off. It's all good. I'll go off and keep on this one out there. Is it just this one side? That you can do by hand now. Because it's already loose. Same at the top? You can take them all completely off. That one's already loose too. Same with the other side though? Yeah, do the same on the other side. You got to loosen it and then take them off. It's about time this white collar worker inside of me's gotta, gotta get some sweat going. So it's, it's been a while since I've been in the, in the hot, in the hot AZ fall. So uh, as soon as I landed, on my uh, from my flight from from Utah, I immediately just went. Oh my gosh! I do not miss this heat, and it's not even that hot compared to you know regular uh, or most of the year. But eh, I guess it's still pretty toasty. But I don't know. It's uh, definitely a lot warmer than Utah. That's for sure. So. He was lying. He was not loose enough. Lying. Oh. These suckers are in. So good. 
There we go. There we go. First one, baby. I don't know if you guys heard that, but Sadie Sue, that, uh, that dog that's always running around, she just gave a big old sneeze. And, uh, you know, I've, uh, it's been a couple of months since I, since I've been in the good old AZ. And, um, I got here and I landed. Sadie chunked up real nice. On the other hand, Chewy, he, uh, he's actually lost some weight, so, uh, I don't know what the freak to do next. Huh. I guess that's the question for the odd rod. Whenever he wants to make a video longer, just make Luke work on it. He has no clue what he's doing. So, you know, and I might know what I'm doing, but... I'm not as well versed as my dad or Tommy is at doing some of the basic stuff. So, it, you know, it takes me a little longer than most people, so... This video is going to be a little, a little extra longer than the usual. And, you know, as I'm talking, I'm realizing that, you know, my dad's probably going to cut this stuff out. Or maybe even fast forward it, so why am I even talking? I'm just going to shut up. Except, I have one more thing. My grandparents came to our house yesterday. We were eating some, uh, had a little pizza party. Um, and my grandma gave me a hug. <laughs> and she said, Luke, you've gained some weight. <laughs> I said, thanks, Grandma. Gotta love grandmas. Gotta love grandmas. And that's going to be the last of me talking because I think he's going to fast forward all this because I'm taking way too long. You know, I don't know about you, but because you're probably used to this. Getting dirt on your hands, nothing better than that. Ah. All right, so we got this rolling. Let's see if we can find some tires that will bolt on it. So we can make it a roller and go we'll bolt it up. Let it down a little bit so you twist it. Now what? So occasionally we use tools that probably your average person doesn't have. Old Ugly is probably a good example of that. Most people do not have a forklift at their disposal. But I'll tell you what, once you have one, not go back. I mean, I use it for everything. The other day, my wife asked me, hey, would you go get the mail? Sure. Jumped on the forklift, went out, pulled the door down, put the arm in there, lifted it up, to, you know, put it all back and brought it in. I mean, all right, that's an exaggeration, but really you use it for everything. And all of a sudden you find you can't live without it. So we're going to take a strap. We're going to wrap it around the fork. We're going to lift this girl up in the air instead of having to do it with jacks that is much more dangerous. And we're going to put jack stands under it so we can get underneath and see what we need to do to attach our new subframe.
right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get the right bushing kit. We found some little parts we thought we could patch it together. We're just going to get the right kit so that it uh, it goes in right and we won't have to pull it back out later on. So we're probably going to do a little scrubbing on it, get it painted, so we can bolt it in there and it should look pretty. Hey, so we appreciate you guys coming by and checking out what we're doing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, leave a comment and share with your friend. And as always, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.